uh, with your legendary. I don't play legendary. Hello, busy boy here. Uh, today I wanted to uh, try something new. Upload a video with commentary. Uh, maybe I can talk a bit about CD management stuff like that this way. There's also a big, um, big reflex in this key. Big ton reflex. I hope I can talk about that a little bit more as well. Uh, so right off the bat here, I fly into the wrong pack. <laughs> there we go. I hurry my way to the correct pack. And here I will uh, thunderclap, avatar. There we go. Now you see the hurricane buff here. I will leave whirlwind, cleave. When it's about to fall off my blade storm, now. There we go. That's the correct opener. Um, I popped. I got aggro as well in this pack. I popped parry there. The parry also makes you, makes you immune to the war stomp. This one right here. Enough parry for this one though. A little bit laggy now. Well, Rigor goes on cooldown because it will line with roar. Like next pack, I want to roar blade storm. Gonna need the, the war break for that. Get it back in time. Um, sweeping towards the end of a pack here, so I can uh, cleave my executes with EP. Very good on two targets, right? I press it a little bit too soon because I can't really cleave here now. The clip's a little bit laggy here. There we go, get my sweeping back anyway. Why it's so laggy? Um, we had a few deaths here, so at this point I actually get my avatar back on this pack as well. So I guess I will reverse chain the hurricane here. Like there's stacks here again. A second avatar. Boom. Same principle as on the first pack, but now we just do it in reverse way, I guess. Like it's a uh, uh, kind of like improvising, right? I did not intend to press Ravitar here, ra um, Avatar here, but because with so many deaths, they happen to line up anyway for this pack. So. <laughs> War break now on cooldown. Uh, I did press sweeping early here because it will still cleave the dreadnoughts, right? Now we press overpower, uh, the dreadnought, dreadnought wave will go out, and with sweeping you get the two waves. It was more AOE damage. And then I should get it back in about 5 seconds to cleave Executes. But no. Um, when you sweep Executes, like you will always um, hit your main target, obviously. And the second target you hit will be the one closest to your character. So if you position properly, you can choose exactly which two targets you're hitting with sweeping. Uh, quite, a, quite a lot of deaths here on these packs, but I think it's kind of normal on these packs before first boss to have like a solo deaths here and there. Beep. Um, and right here, my roar is on 20 seconds. I think I will hold Warbreaker here because I only get one pop on this pack. That means I can Avatar when Roar is at 6 seconds. When Roar is at 6 seconds, I can start pressing Avatar there, exactly on 6 seconds. And then I can do the same opener. <clears throat> Warbreaker, Roar, Cleave, Whirlwind, Cleave, and then Pain Hurricane. I fuck it up. I fuck it up. I did it too late. So now I sent the Blade Storm anyway. You know it's a bit too late. I didn't change the Hurricane stacks. I notice if I mouse over the video, it's less laggy for some reason. <laughs> I guess I'll be doing that. Warbreak goes on cooldown again. I parry the war stomp, right? So I can stay in for a little bit. And now it's time for sweeping. Should be up already. You ready? You know why I'm not pressing it? One base press sweeping, dude. There we go. Now. Let's see. Yeah, like I want to Warbreaker the low <clears throat> the low health guy, right? Because you get um, him for the kill 20% if you hit low low health target. 
10% extra haste from doing that. And then it's an Omic Lens without uh, Avatar. Um, my cooldowns are heavily desync now, so I I think I will just war break Avatar just for the Blade Storm. Not sure. Let's see, because I would need to war break for it. So I think I will send it there. War breaker than Avatar. Yeah. Okay. Like whenever you're not entirely sure what to do with your cooldowns, it's usually better to just send them. So I think that was fine to do that there. Well, at least now my Warbreaker, Roar, and Bladestorm are again, again lined for the next pull. We can execute this guy. Alright, now it's time for boss. And this boss typically, um, all the big buttons, I wait for uh, the app to spawn. We can cleave uh, the add on it. The main value is um, sweeping execute that the EP stacks onto the boss from the end, right? Warbreaker or Bladestorm. Because I'm Bladestorming and I'm going to send the whirlwind, it's going to be too late to sweeping. So I think I'll just hold a fresh sweeping for next add. No, I actually send it here. And then I have to make sure I get the execute, execute onto the boss. Yeah. Two stacks EP on the boss, boom. That's actually funnel. Arms, Arms Warrior funnel, dude. One big, uh, big mortal strike. Yeah, whenever I don't mouse over the recording, apparently it's lagging. I don't know. Um, like Avatar. If I send it on CD now, yeah, then next cast will line with the roar, which means my next cast of Avatar will exactly line with roar, blade storm, warbreaker. I will have everything exactly lined up for execute, but this boss um, takes five percent damage, right? Every time you spear or ten percent, I don't know exactly how much it is. So I, what I did here, I'm trying to line my cooldowns for a big, big execute phase, right? That's like what's uh, that's how my brain is like hardwired to press my CDs, but actually a bad move because I'm not going to actually press them and execute. But yeah, if you look at my cooldowns now, Avatar fifty. Roar 40 ish, they line uh, roughly. They should come up when boss hits execute fades. Like right now, all my clones line up perfectly for execute. Yeah, I talked about it on stream as well. In about 30 seconds, yeah. I would have like insane, insane execute phase in this boss if I had pressed. Because I fought as well. Um, drink it. Yeah, I don't actually send. Like, if this was any other boss, that would be, uh, this would have been really good. Uh, sweeping, because again, Dreadnought Wave, it is actually funnel for single target. Even though I don't actually care about killing this head, we're kind of just ignoring it. I still press sweeping for Dreadnought, and it just feels good to execute two targets, right? <laughs> Not gonna lie. We might as well kill it. Like, I have all my clones now, but um, at least we're going to a big pack now in the waterfall. So. At least I have full CDs for that. Uh, next area has some reflex uh, with one pack, a patrol, which I hope I can show. I can't remember if we actually did it this pool, this uh, dungeon. And then also the um, boss, of course. Second boss and last boss have a very big reflex. Uh, here I call kicks for myself and tank on the big guy, everyone else on the storm speaker. Like normally when we're on voice, I can call the, my, uh, the kicks around my blade storm. Can't kick when you blaze on me. Um, my opening here should be the, sh uh, the same. Like av um, charge on the clap, avatar with the macro which casts academy trinket while I'm blade storming. Oh, we go to the small pack first. All right. I'm probably kind of sad about this because I have all my buttons. I was ready to blast. I think the tank messed up his uh, dragon here a little bit. <laughs> That's why we're waiting. I don't think he died, right? He's messed up a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure which pack we actually play now. That patrol pack has like the, the one uh, juicy reflect deck we played now. Yeah, okay, so he has a kick and he has a chain lightning, right? The um, chain lightning 
if it's on me, I can just reflect it. It will still splash on people around me. But if it's on someone else, like right here, boom. If it was on the shaman, I stand on top of the shaman, press reflect. Even though it's not on me, I can still reflect it for damage. It like, uh, I, I couldn't see, it said above my head how much uh, <clears throat> damage it exactly did, but... You can, so that means you can always reflect this. And if it's on me, myself, I can also reflect it, but then I have to make sure I stand away from other people though, because it will still hit them, even though I reflect it. So that's important to know. We have some deaths here too. Not sure exactly. Um, so it goes on me, so I can show you that it's on me as well. Ah. Yeah, that was the kick, the kick went through. It was just like a bug without voice, so like it's not gonna be like super clean run, you know. But, <laughs> but a very nice reflect there. Um, all the packs here also have reflex, but they require you to have aggro, and they're a little bit more sketch. Like typically, if you're a prot warrior, you will do those. You was going to the pack, mass reflect all uh, every mob, you know. But a little bit sketchy to do it as a DPS warrior. You could do the same though if you like go in with parry. Mass reflect all the all the mobs and um, then shadow melt something like that. But uh, I I didn't do it this key. But I'm sure there's some play to be made there. Um. So yeah, I I had my uh, academy drink bot. Uh, we were gonna lost the next pool like the big big pool. So I did I popped all my cooldowns on the back here the patrol, but not my pot, not my drink it because. Um, I wanted to have them for last here. I use a rune from uh, Shadowlands. Get 20 strength for free, for like 10 gold, like uh, right here on the right. Very cheap, like no reason not to use them, honestly. Then uh, this is gonna be big pool, yeah, with the two ads here as well. Lost, and anyway, we have all buttons. So I'm gonna go in and charge, Thunderclap, Avatar, stand still. Charge, Thunderclap, Avatar. Get me trinket cancel while Avataring, then Warbreaker, Roar. Leave, whirlwind, leave, overpower, bladestorm, bladestorm with the hurricane stacks to keep them at six stacks, leave again, leave, whirlwind, leave, overpower, leave, thundering, whirlwind on cooldown whenever you can, and then I think I will warbreaker still once more here because I should be able to reset it, yeah. Like I want to keep the Warbreaker aligned with Roar at the very least, it's very easy to do. Warbreaker is still going to come up before the Roar, so this is completely fine. And then again we uh, Sweeping Execute. Um, Roar is going to come up later than Warbreaker, I think I'll hold the Warbreaker a tiny bit. Because I can only send my roar and blaze some once in this pack, so yeah. we're breaking now. Yeah, blaze storm. When you blaze storming, you can pick up those orbs because you have longer range, right? So every time you have blaze storm, you just uh, doing all those orbs. Like five percent damage per orb, I think. If you're gonna lose globals for it, I think it's not worth. Oh, one cast went to me. Yeah, that, that's typically what happens in these packs. Like if you're not on Discord, stormbolt's gonna go through left and right. Like people are gonna die. You know, kind of to be expected. Um, but yeah, it's no good. Like, you, like you, you can see, you can wipe two or three times. We have 14 deaths already, but the timer is so forgiving in this key that it does not really matter. Um, also, very good key for Arms Warrior. Like, all the pools are really good for Arms Warrior. The bosses are really good. Big reflex on the bosses, so we're still chilling. <clears throat> I'll reflect on the skull. But my weaker are telling me that, that a kick is on me, right? For, to press spell reflect. Can be found on my Discord, by the way. Like on my all my weak cards are on my Discord, including that one. Um, right here, sweeping execute. One mob was in twenty percent. The other one was not, which means I execute the low one, mortal strike the high one, because the high one is a prior target, right? So the big one um, gets a little bit extra damage if it's your main target, right? Because sweeping only keeps for seventy-five percent. They want to get the hundred percent on the prior target. Uh, next pack we have all CDs except Academy Trinket, which is a bit sad. Uh, no. The same thing here. The opener very scripted, right? Again, Thunderclap, Avatar. Already pressing Warbreaker. Thor, Thief, 
Ruin. Leave. We want more overpower. Bladestorm. Now. Yeah. Let's change the hurricane stacks. Bladestorm means you can pick up the orbs. Reflect. Uh, refresh rent with Thunderclap last second. And then I press sweeping a little bit too soon, I think. We get proper, proper execute value here. Yeah, if I had like sweeping up for like three more seconds here, it would be fine. I press like three seconds too early. Sweeping strike is the hardest thing, honestly, about Arnold's Warrior. Like, when do you press it? Like, you need, you need to have a good feel for how long is the pack going to live? What pack is going to come after that? Um, how fast is the pack going to die? Uh, you know, things like that. It's um, feeling, kind of. You have to anticipate all the time, uh, all those things. Um, the last pack here, so I think I just n naturally precast my enemy trinket. Yeah, I should have cleaved before I did that, but it's all good. Blade storm. I'm not sure what to do with this avatar now, though. Either I hold it for boss or I send it here. I think I'm gonna hold it for boss. I'm not sure. Actually, not sure. <laughs> I think yeah. <clears throat> I think I just hold it for boss at this point. Now I press sweeping a little bit too early again. I think. Yeah. I uh, cleaved one execute. Yeah, I should have um, pressed a little bit later. <clears throat> actually, didn't know I made so many mistakes with the uh, sweeping until I'm not sitting here watching my own vault, actually. <laughs> Definitely could have played it better. Um, so now right here, this is like a big spell reflect boss. He will cast a reflectable cast on you if the main target is not in melee range. If I pull the boss, he will instantly start casting something on me that's reflectable. It's called Wind Burst. There we go, I pull the boss, not the tank. Instant Reflect, and it hits for 430k on Fortified. Um, you can do this on cooldown. So how you do it is you just uh, walk out, then taunt, and he will cast it, reflect, walk back, back in. And then the tank has to taunt back, otherwise you die. Uh, the tank can already taunt the moment you see the cast of Wind Burst. See if I do it once more here. Yeah, there we go. Again, 430k damage. Um, I remember I did not play the fight properly in terms of my own rotation because I was kind of focused on showing stream the reflex. <laughs> so I, I, I my uh, single target damage is not not uh, what it's supposed to be. I'm also not really good at keeping my orbs at uh, proper stacks. Um, I'm also Night Elf, so whenever I do a bug like this, I taunt Reflect. If the tank does not taunt back, I can shut him out of and I'm completely fine. So I can do this once to like test the tank, see if he's uh, aware of me taunting, you know? Like, I'm, I'm testing the tank, right? If he taunts back, he passes the test and I keep reflecting. If not, I, I stop doing it. <laughs> you can also do it with parry. Because um, if you instantly charge back, you can parry, and if then the tank does not taunt back, you're fine. Because parry immune melees, but not wind burst, of course. Like, if you get two castle wind burst on you, you will die to the second one, but... Um, yeah, I get good reflex here, at least. Uh, I'm doing the same thing here again with the avatar. I send warbreaker avatar only, and then... Shoot line in execute eventually with roar. Take another reflex here. Yeah. Um, uh, This is not even the biggest reflex boss, dude. Last boss. I think this run I did uh, 3 million on both bosses with Reflect. Like 3.9 on this one and 3.6 on the last one. Something like that. Even though on the last one I, I fucked up. Which is good because then uh, you can watch that and we can learn from it. So uh, Roar here and Bladestorm. And now, now you see my cooldowns. Roar and Avatar are both on one minute. In one minute I would have like a Giga execute phase. But I think the boss here is going to die. But at the very least it would line for a potential pack afterwards. Like on, on if it was well, uh, a tyrannical key, it would line perfectly in execute phase, right? Arms where it actually does a lot of damage on execute the EP, uh, which is the current build I'm playing, right? Um, oh, shit. you get it? 
Uh, uh, shadow melded. Uh, yeah, that's uh, what I uh, did wrong here. I taunted the boss for the reflect. But he was about to cast like lightning strike or something, some tank mechanic, right? You have to taunt around those timers, because if you taunt on the lightning strike, the lightning strike is going to go on you. And then of course you will die. Uh, I noticed that last second, so I, I melded it off uh, instantly. Um, so like on that boss, timers to look out for our lightning strike, the electrical storm. Make sure you don't taunt when that's about to go out, otherwise it goes on you. Uh, I flew through the wrong pack again, I guess. At least we can do the opener here. With the soul harvester on focus, right, to kick the volley. Or, or, the, or the corruptors, if you're not assigned to the volley. They're also important kicks. Um, yeah, here you have the soul, uh, what's it called? Soul shred or something. Whenever your soul gets taken away from you, right, you deal 30% less damage. Uh, typically, this is a good time to um, press thunderclap, press sweeping, press buttons like that, you know? Buttons without immediate value, but uh, like you, you deal 30% damage less anyway, right? I might as well press one of those buttons, both of them, you know? While you're uh, picking up your soul. There he goes. <laughs> it's super annoying, actually. I'm just kind of kicking random. Like, all the small casters actually do a lot of damage to the tank. Although, we do play with DK tank now. I think he's better at dealing with that. Um, I was not going to send Roar here initially. I think I was still. Yeah, I still send it. Everyone else died, right? Everyone else died. So I was like, okay, fuck it. Then I'll send the Roar here. There's a good chance this pack might live forever now. And um, on the bright side, like, if they die, I get more time to recover my CDs. So uh, I think when they were alive, my plan was to just Warbreaker only, save Avatar and everything, uh, Roar for next pack, but on seeing them die, I just send them. Keeping Execute. Um, so now my cooldowns align in such a way that I see I, see I have Avatar. Ideally, I want to press Avatar when Roar is at 6 seconds, so that's in roughly 20 seconds. I'm still playing a series, I, 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 and then I can do the proper uh, burst opener. So in like, it's 15 seconds now, so in like 9 seconds. Uh, trying to see which pack we're going to go for here. One. Roars at 6 seconds, which means I can just Thunderclap Avatar. This green Swirly actually does not do crazy much damage. You can kind of disrespect it. Yeah, I'm kind of sad, like I, I full committed all my CDs, my big, big CDs, and then we pull in uh, more trash. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, Could have been uh, really lots and lots of damage, but uh, again, it's one of those things, if you're not on Discord, uh, you can't know, right? That's why being on Discord is actually DPS game, because I can actually ask, like, you know, what's being pulled. I would have, like, uh, obliterated this whole pack, but... Uh, looking at my cities now, I think I want to I wanna try and get this roar on the next pack, not on this one, because everything's dying. Maybe I will send it, though. I think I will just send the Bladesome only, because I'm expecting Avatar on next pack any, anyway, yeah. Like, I'm going to have Avatar Bladesome next pack anyway, so I'm like, fuck it. The Bladesome is kind of disposable, has very short cooldown with anger management. Kind of send it here. Then I have Avatar 15 seconds for a war, war Breaker. That's my next pull. I have it in about 10, so we just do some natural cleave there till we have Avatar. It should come up right as we go into the pack. Need to turn the clap anyway, yeah. Um, I did my opener in the, like kind of the wrong way here. This, um, I thought we were gonna move. Like, if I press Avatar, I have to stand still, so I, I kind of panicked there. So, I was just, I, what I did was Warbreaker, Roar, Avatar. Which is the more bursty opener, by the way. Like, if you ever need to uh, burst a pack, and you don't have time to precast Avatar, like something, let's say, first step pull in Temple of Jade Serpent, you know, with all the smallies. You can do that version of the opener. Warbreaker, Roar, Avatar, get all your cooldowns on instantly without ramping up beforehand. Uh, it's, like, it's kind of like the pad opener, right? You pad on all the smallies before they die. 
That's how I used to play um, this build all the way back on beta. Like my old videos is me doing this opener exclusively because I, I noticed it's more burst damage. But it's actually less damage overall. It's better to just do what I did on the rest of the key. Like Avatar first, then Warbreak, then Roar. And change the Hurricane stacks at uh, 6 seconds, then Blades 1, you know? But uh, this opener is also still useful for well, like I destroyed <laughs> batting, pretty much. But <laughs> sometimes you do uh, you do use it. Or maybe like in Court of Stars, when we chain in all the smallies, you know? And you would also use that opener problem. You don't get a chance to uh, ramp up with Avatar. So here I am going to do the reverse chain. I send Blaze first. But I have to pick up my soul now, mid cooldowns. We get my hurricane at the last second, I think. Yeah. Hurricane at uh, full stacks with Avatar second. Oh, tank dies here, so I parry. And I, I want to Shadow Melt now, but Shadow Melt's on 5 seconds. But luckily, I have parry, so he gets rest. I'm parrying, parry falls off now, and I instant melt. Gucci, nothing happened. <laughs> like the parry and the Shadow Melt lined up perfectly there for the tank dying. Yeah, I said it on stream as well. Like, it lined up perfectly. Like, this is taken from my stream, right? You said it. Um, now, I do have a good lineup of CDs here, but I died to something. Oh, I stood in there. Corruption. Yeah. Well, I guess now I for sure have a good lens. Um, I probably won't have my avatar as my first button. I guess what I do next pack again, what I call like the reverse chain, right? The warbreaker, roar, blade storm, avatar coming in second. Maybe not. I think avatar comes first, so I can do the proper opener. At one point, I'll make a video guide about arms explaining all those things, but with, with I'll, I'll be using that terminology, like a crack opener. Bad opener. <laughs> yeah, I can do the correct opener now with Avatar first. Uh, not sure what we pull though, guys. Okay. So this will just be the Thunderclap Avatar instantly after. It's obviously boom. Thunderclap Avatar. I have to send Silver Trinket though, so I miss a little bit of that. Uh, that feels bad. Move out right on my Hurricane Chain. I do chain it though, keep it at 6 stacks forever. This is a very important weak card to have, by the way, like it's a crucial for your rotation. Now we just spam Cleave, Overpower, Cleave, Overpower, Cleave, Overpower. The Whirlwind comes back up, we press that as well. Whirlwind just shaves off like 5 seconds of the War Breaking Blade Stone, right? Because it costs so much rage. Like the more rage is spent, the faster it reduces the cooldown, and Whirlwind is like a boom, 5 seconds. Where's the Sweeping Biz? Okay, there it is, Pog. Okay, decent. Uh, I want to Warbreaker the low health add now, because remember, it's 10% extra haste, right? If you Warbreaker low health target. I think I'm holding it for the Roar anyway. I have to send it now though before the... Yeah, okay, got it. I have to send the Warbreaker a little bit early, I guess. To get 10% haste. But it's completely fine, because I could do my opener properly anyway. Leave. I think I can sweep in here early and still have it for execute sweep. I think I could have pressed it once more. Do I send Avatar here? I think I do. It's just Warbreaker. Yeah, I do. This is the last pack, right? 94%. So less pack than boss. Might as well bang it on the trash pack. Trying to commit, not sure if I can. I have two stacks of EP, motor strike, boom. That's it. 20 deaths, but we um, we have time. We have more than enough time. Uh, now on this boss, you can reflect uh, tornadoes. Not for damage though, it will be a deflect, but makes the boss very safe for warrior, right? Uh, which is a uh, thunderclap. Warbreaker, Roar, Bladestorm. 
Don't go in with sweeping because uh, like lots of globals now that are not gonna be cleaved. I have to send a whirlwind as well with Boom Grinder. Like a whirlwind single target as well, right? It's two targets now though, but um the Gale Arrow is coming now. Do we stack on the tank? You have to pop a defensive. Well, as a warrior, you don't have to, but I always press spell reflect. In case there's like a weird tornado coming in from whatever angle, uh, it will just get reflected. I'm giga safe, you know? Um, so when I see Roar at 30 seconds and Avatar is coming up, that means I can send Avatar naked and it will come back up exactly in execute phase, right? As, as I talked about before. Uh, generally, like not always, of course, but that's, that's typically how it goes, so... Assuming I'm gonna send this roar on cooldown as well, which I will, because Warbreaker and Roar are lining. Like if I spend some rage, my Warbreaker comes up exactly on the roar. Yeah, a few seconds apart, so it's good enough. Kinda sucks though, like I wanna send it right here now, right? For Avatar. Well actually. Yeah, okay, so if you look at Avatar and Roar, they're now exactly lined, and they're gonna come up in one minute, which should be an execute phase with sweeping. That's uh like you're all, you're all, when you're popping cooldowns, you're always thinking about like the next use and the use after that, right? Uh, rent, bis, rent, rent, rent. Hello, rent. Fucking donkey. There you go. So this one dying, please. This boss is so horrible for melee, dude. Like you're constantly planning out your cooldowns in your head, but you have to keep moving out for all the fucking mechanics. Um, so I have my sweeping... My sweeping now lines up as well with my CDs. Like it comes up a little bit later than my CDs, but that's fine, because my CDs make me blade storm. So I don't need to sweep instantly. But this is like perfect lining for my CDs. So I do the same openers on the pack. Avatar first. Warbreaker. Roar. Leave a little bit. I want to roll table, but I don't have rage for it. In the hurricane, I fuck up the hurricane though. Now we just EP uh, cleaving, uh, keep sweeping. Uh, we got an extra add up. It's actually annoying. It's like look, it, it uh, soaked one of my EP stacks. You see that? Like this happened. It happened a lot during spiteful weeks where all the spitefuls would soak my EP stacks. So like it's super annoying when there's like an extra add. Makes it very hard to do prior damage. But um, this was like the last count anyway. It needs to die anyway, so like it's whatever. Top ten hunter. Yeah, this hunter was really fucking good, dude. It, uh, he did insane damage. Was very surprised by that. Now we're gonna go into the real juice, dude. Big taunt reflex on Lesbos. Um, on this boss, I actually can't show it because it's on cooldown. You see here, 9 minute cooldown. I don't know what I knocked, but it's a it's an engineering knock from BFA. It's insanely broken in this key because like it knocks a mop for a, a pretty decent... Uh, what am I doing here, dude? <laughs> uh, trying to move... Bro, I'm searching for Pega, dude. Oh my god. Like, um, anyway, the knock belt is it's, uh, 9 minutes. You can knock one of those ads into the center. It's super free. If two people have it, you knock the ads to the center, A with him down. Super free. Um, so in P1, I don't reflect. That's in the P2 after the ads. Um, I have Shadow Melt. It works on this mechanic, Iron Spear, but I'm just gonna save it, I think. Yeah, like if, if I do put it behind the rock, he's gonna charge into the rock. Boom. Uh, Drew didn't move out though, but. Uh, it keeps the boss um, in, in in one uh, one spot, so increases people's uh, damage, right? Um, now I do want to have my CDs on the intermission. I think because, like, realistically, the only thing we're now going to wipe to or deplete the key to would be the ads here in the intermission. I'm kind of unlucky with this. I was just destand that, why not? Like you're uh, you're out of the fight anyway. Um, I sent this Warbreaker, I'm not sure if that was a play. 
the boss phase are 50%, right? I want to have all my shit on 50%. I think it's fine, actually. You can keep hitting the boss even when he's phasing a little bit. Like a Warbreaker cooldown, if you keep hitting, it's not 45 seconds, right? It's like, I don't know, like 25 a second? Maybe less, maybe more? But I'm going to uh, Avatar anyway as my first, and then Bladestorm, and then Warbreaker, so... I think, or I'm, I'm doing the Burst Opener, actually, that I talked about before. Yeah, exactly. Warbreaker, Roar, then Avatar. No time to ramp up the Avatar, so we just send him in that way. Like, the more... I get all the cooldowns at ASAP. They last right to boss anyway now. Now the reflect. Three, two, one. Parry taunt. Spot reflect. Four, 500k initial hit and it's a dot. So it, it uh, does way more than that even, I think. Like a massive reflect. Uh, for the next one though, we don't have... Spot reflect. Coming in six seconds, seven seconds. It's like uh, only a second or two off, but... I cannot take this next one. So um, uh, towards the end, I'm like, if I just pre-press reflect by a few seconds, then I can. I try it, but then I fail. We're gonna see that towards. The end. Yeah. But um, I also do not have parry, so I'm just gonna walk out and taunt. So I do the walk out taunt. See, reflect. So I pressed it. I pressed it. Uh, I pressed reflect like two seconds early, because I want to have it for the final one as well. You see, it comes in 11 seconds, Spell Reflect is on 13 seconds. I'm like, okay, I sh it should be fine. I try it, but... Um, you see, it's coming now. I don't have Reflect yet, 4 seconds. I'm going to taunt anyway and see if I can do it, because, like, he's time for this, whatever. But, no, see? 0 0.1 seconds. <laughs> so the previous one, I should have sent a press, like, a second earlier, it would have been fine. I, I had to, like, pre-send it by one more second, then it would have been fine. It's kind of a sad ending to the key, but... Uh, Keys timed. There we go. Kind of an interesting run, but uh, very fun run regardless. Alright. See you guys later.